but Well yeah. Which is which is how it, they should have did it. They should have did that from P when they came out with GTA five after four. Well, the Mafia games have it. So, I mean, if one gaming system can do it, why can't another gaming company, you know? Yeah. No, it won't. And it won't be only be for the PS5. Uh, the PS... No, no, the PS4 bird... No, no. The PS4 version is coming out f four months after the 5 version comes out. Four months. Alright, well if you want to look for my video, it might take me a while to finish some of these missions because I have to look them up for the right answers. Yep. Hey, bait. Yeah, that's his joysticks. They're worn out like his baby mama's. <laughs> Talk about used and abused. I got to charge my controller. Hmm. What's doing your head in the joysticks?
Macy. Come here. That baby girl. Pretty girl, pretty girl. Yeah. Pretty girl, pretty girl. Yeah. Pretty kitty. The one that I love. Yes, I do so very much. You know what? The wrong kind of pussy. Fucking pervert. You listen here, you fucking cum stain. A free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. This takes place in the 1800s, Mary. The Sherlock Holmes right there in the black. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. So you really don't remember <laughs> what do you refer? The funeral. Sherlock. <laughs> At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably never. Excuse me. John, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come. Back to you. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastor said they're united in heaven. I didn't believe him even then. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I, I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. It will get easier soon.
pocket watch. It seems familiar, John. Why is it here? Fair at internet issue. Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, Mother. <clears throat> yeah. This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? Maybe he knows something. Help me, please. It's funny when someone like you asks someone like me for help. Is this familiar to you? You shouldn't have left your mansion. You won't get any answers from me. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. Are you able to help me? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. May I ask you something? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Are you able to help me? It's funny when someone like you asks someone like me for help. May I ask for your assistance? His Majesty came out of his palace. I know nothing. Everyone's looking at us, Sheriff. You sure you know what you're doing? Are you able to help me? His Majesty came out of his palace. I know nothing. Excuse me, just one question. Do you know, I'd rather bite a snake than talk to you. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry.
Who are you asking about what interests you? Can you satisfy my curiosity? No one listens to us, so why should I listen to you, Oofbird? May I ask for your assistance? A man like you should not speak to a man like me. Everyone's looking at us, Sherry. You sure you know what you're doing? Can I ask you a question? Why should I care about your troubles when you don't care about mine? Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. Could you help me? You shouldn't have left your mansion. You won't get any answers from me. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Are you able to help me? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. Can I ask you a question? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. <sighs> yeah, what's up? Uh... Okay. <sighs> okay, bud. Could you help me? There is no amount of money that would make me talk. Okay. Is this familiar to you? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. Help me, please. His Majesty came out of his palace. I know nothing. Can I ask you a question? You shouldn't have left your mansion. You won't get any answers from me. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these... Hey, Dragon. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prince suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall.
this familiar to you? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. All right. Are you able to help me? A man like you should not speak to a man like me. Do you know anything about this? So you think if we have money, we should bow to your whims? No, sir. This isn't working. You May I ask you something? You shouldn't have left your mansion. You won't get any answers from me. Help me, please. You shouldn't have left your mansion. You won't get any answers from me. Can I ask you a question? Mr. Fancy Claus won't find any answers here. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Okay, hello. What's up? What's up? Welcome back. to tell me to make a model of tire but let me assure you I do not care hmm. ah. well it was going to be very impressive come on then the trail continues ahead Mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. It's stained with oil paint. What, Kylo? The hospital equipped. If memory serves, All right, bro. they're located at the far Talk end of the cemetery around an old tree. I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria.
portable easel was kept there. An artist working in a cemetery. Do you think he'd paint my portrait? Oh, it's that ridiculous artist. Cheers, guys, or coffee. Taking the cigarette break. I said cigarette, not weed. You should just be able to click on the link and it'll br Sherry, make friends. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh my! It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, mm. I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I'd forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure? Answers? Penance? 
Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption, drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no. You'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. Now what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I'll leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Are you all right, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. Electric car. Electric. May see.
Is this familiar to you? Uh, don't take it personally, sir. Uh, but I know nothing about this. Look who's here. Galici, posing as a medium, confessed to the strangulation of a... Interested in some Cordona news? Check the front page. You won't regret it. Help me, please. So you think if you have money, we should bow to your whims? No, sir. Excuse me, just one question. So you think if you have money, we should bow to your whims? No, sir. This isn't working. You might... I need a different tack. Could you help me? No one listens to us, so why should I listen to you, oof bird? Remotely familiar to you. Should it? Concentrate, Sherry. Do you know anything about this? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Is this familiar to you? I don't think I'm rich enough to talk to you, sir.
Hey. Hey, sweet cakes. I'm just trying to find this location. Are you able to help me? Sir, I don't know. Try asking someone else. Lost, sir? Not at all. I'm right where I need to be. I'm Sherlock Holmes, by the way. Ursula Oni, the chief archivist. How can I help you exactly? I need to take a look at the history of Cordona and its islanders to retrieve some hopefully useful information. Your brother Mycroft told me that you were direct, and now that we've met, I can see that is true. Someone in our family has to balance the evasive nature of my brother. Well, may I use the city archives? You may, of course. But in return, perhaps dinner? That's a high price to pay for looking at your archives. <laughs> I was teasing you. Pay no attention to me. Do you know anything about this? It's not something I know, sir. Someone else might know more. Excuse me, just one question. I would never refuse a nobleman, but I know nothing, sir. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. <laughs> May I ask for your assistance? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know.
I need to YouTube this.
one tonight. We are starting our 100% web play for Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. You guys are ready for this. Now, 100% in this context means that we're getting a platinum trophy, although I normally go ahead and do everything in the game, but uh, some games are not really feasible. I presume this one will be, but uh, just so everyone's clear, uh, if you guys like what I'm doing here on the channel, if you like the game to play in the future, there is a link to my Patreon down in the description below. You can become a patron and vote on the games I play in the future. We do a game game mode every month. Like what I'm doing here. But anyways, the game has just launched. I am I am a little worried about what forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. Fucking Christ, man. Contest for the guests of Cordona. Find hidden treasure.
Fuck, man. There we go, you stupid fucking cunt. Looking slut. Come on, you fucking wanker! Stop doing this. Stop doing that. Call the clock, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes, what is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Police archives. What? Police archives. Come on, you fucking slut, get out of my way. Come on, dude, why can't I go in? Come on, dude.
Merhaba. Oh my god, dude. This is so fucking gay. Get out of my way, you stupid fucking cunt. Is this the right fucking place? No. I don't need City Hall, I need the police. Station. Guests of Cordona, the treasures await you. Collect them all and return. The fuck? Hey guys, I gotta go get some coffee. Be right back, okay? Thanks. Team's fucking pissing me off. No fucking fast travels, fucking wankers. Typical of London, run everywhere. You got nothing better to do but fucking run, I guess. Fuckers couldn't make a game if they tried.
Easy. Stark do this, Stark do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? Yes, what is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm quite certain I am. Let me prove it. Well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, signore. Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal, if ever I'd seen him. He, gave me, he gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And that's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and men. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, in your homes. Where can I find the clothes? They're in my workshop, at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? Thank you. 
Oh, look at this old chap putting on airs like some Italian doge. Why don't you disguise yourself as him instead? We have a job to do, John. Oh, come on, at least do him first. Your face is too innocent now. What do you mean, too innocent? There was something evil about his face. Like a moustache. Yes, the kind that all villains twirl as they plot their evil plans. I'd say that not all villains wear moustaches, but I get your point, ma'am. Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mum, I'm quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell. Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago, and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even. Do <laughs> Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much.
Cheers, guys. Hello again, officer. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite tolerable. Huh. Who would have thought? Hey, Logan, we've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. What did you say your name was? Holmes? Come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr. Holmes. John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona, in a manor, and there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? What happened to our mother? The memory was vague, a, a mere flash. I have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it.
Shattered memory. I'm done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? As a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished, as if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to work the reception desk, like some clerk. Yes, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Well, I'm not one to balk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? Ask the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. It's 4.33 in the morning for me, so it's 1-something in the morning for her. Devil. Devil. It's uh, 4.34 for me in the morning. It's 1.34 a.m. for Pear. She's always three hours behind me. She's on Pacific time. I'm on Eastern. So, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. Go on, shoot the targets. Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit every target to show the sergeant how we do it. Proceed to the next room. Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paperwork. Come on, Sherry. It's just like in childhood. It's 
Steady, Sherry. Steady. And go. My favorite mannequins for attack. Let's strike them ninja style. Aim for where you might take advantage and don't... I could do environment. this all day. Please don't, Sherry. We don't have that much time. Let's move on. Our enemies might be stronger than us, but we rely on our wits. Shoot off their armor. Hooray! All right, let's move on, Sherry. If you stand here and use your snuff box on them, you can definitely overcome them, Sherry. It's all calculated. Uh-oh, Sherry. Not a nice shot. You could have killed the fella if he was alive. I'm trying to estimate the range for your snuff box. Ah, Sherry, you've guessed that you can't use the powder when he has a helmet. I've been sending you brain signals. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, new boy. Well, I'm almost finished with the paperwork. Let's talk about your results. Well, I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. Perhaps you're not completely hopeless. But, true combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, we'll test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the eye. That goes for in the field as well. <coughs> Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Here, take these. They are blank rounds. So, are you ready? Always ready. Then let's get cracking. Worried? Not at all. I can hit them all with one shot. <coughs> Sherry, and remember, the surroundings are your playground. I'm coming. I couldn't miss the party. It won't work this way. I'm coming. I couldn't miss the party. I'm coming for you. I couldn't miss the party. It won't work this way. I'm coming for you. Weaken him first. I couldn't miss the party. It won't work this way. I'm coming for you. Wake the fuck up, bro.
Don't bother. The snuff's ready. Weaken him first. I'm coming for you. Eat lead. It won't work this way. I couldn't miss the party. Take a rest, my friend. Time to knock this guy out. Give him the pepper snuff. I couldn't miss the party. Dodge this! Don't bother moving. You the snuff's ready. That's enough. You proved yourself. Congratulations on the arrests. I can't believe you did so well with the close combat. I did tell you that I'm well trained. Well, do the same on the street, and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is your certificate. You are now an authorized crime scene consultant. Well, it's now your duty to make this city a safer place. Cordona won't ever forget it, but at the same time, it will never remember. I'll tell Stark all the necessary details about your successful certification. No! Congratulations. Now you're a certified crime scene consultant. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Now, shall we head for Stonewood Manor? Don't know. You have the whole island to investigate. It's all up to you. I'm going to take a 420 break. Would anybody like to partake? Who got you fucked up? <laughs> so that means you guys got to join him again. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you it kicked you out of the session.
Hey, Sherry, this post here seems as if the left... Anything you want to happen, happen. Hi, little one. Good morning. You should be in bed counting sheep. Going night night. Maybe one day when you're trying to lay them both down for bed pair, I'll tell them the story about Goldilocks and the three bears, the story my dad used to tell me. Hey Sherry, there's post here, and it seems as if the letter was delivered recently. After reading that, I am even less eager to return home than before. Let's investigate our manor. Yeah, we can hear you snoring and every fucking thing. The only thing we don't hear you doing is jacking off. There she is. You, you know my saying? I don't need to have sex to get a world woman pregnant. I set my pants on the bed, she lays on them. I heard that from an 80-year-old man last week, my brother's friend. He said that about his wife. He's like, I didn't even need to do anything. I just set the pants on the bed. She sat on them and got pregnant the next morning. He's an old timer. He's lived up here all his life. Clyde is his first name. 
I mean, she hadn't seen me since I gained weight after having kids. You know how it goes, hiding behind oversized clothes and avoiding mirrors. Our old man. What'd you do? Roll up a cigarette. I can have a, I can have a cigarette and then I'll smoke a bowl. I gotta make right. I gotta make a phone call real quick. Wrong lettuce. We smoked the devil's lettuce. Hey, Pear, you want me to look up that shirt? Look up. Oh, fuck. Um, Pear's gonna buy me one from my wrestling site for, um, a uh, late birthday gift. Because she's got to get her son stuff because her son's birthday is this month. All Elite Wrestling. All Elite Wrestling.
Uh, oh wait, how do I send the link? Uh, pair. Hold on. Hey, Pear, I sent you the link on your phone. Um, tell me when you look at it so I can tell you which shirt because it's the entire wrestler's uh, merchandise selection, so you got to scroll. Yeah, I sent it to your phone through text message. I sent you a link. To it. To it. Yeah. No, it's a wrestling site. I signed you up for OnlyFans. <laughs> you shit on the floor? <laughs> Wake the fuck up, you're in a goddamn mission. Fuck, man, you can sleep when you're dead. I get the cock out of your mouth. Fucker's trying to talk and he's half stoned and half asleep. You fucking dough boy, you crack me up, man. Five, ten minutes after they finish the mission. They already leave your ass, and you're sitting there snoring. Hey, Jimmy, how kind of you to join us so early in the morning. I know you're going to be getting off. Thanks for dodging me, you fucking asshole. I'm just kidding, bud. Yes, how you doing? Sorry, sorry, Jimmy doesn't know UK talk language slang. He is French. Just, ask, just when you see him next time, just say, "Got any great poupons?" 